Hi everyone and welcome. Today we wrap up season two of Star Trek the original series. I am really really excited that we are wrapping up season two. I feel like I'm making progress and the more progress I make the more awesome stuff I get to watch and the faster and sooner I get to watch it and I know it's slow but I'm just really happy when we reach like a milestone like this completed season one now we're gonna complete season two start season three and then we'll be able to get on with the animated series and all that good stuff I have already uh, watched an episode of Star Trek this week but I got home from a convention and I'm all dressed up and done up and I figured I spent all this time and energy to get ready that I might as well record something. Two birds with one stone. I also really wanted to show you guys something that I got at the convention. First I did dress up as a character from a video game. Um, her name is Aerith and she's from Final Fantasy 7 so that's why I probably look a little bit strange today. But yeah, I got a piece of artwork from the convention. It's kind of like a small Comic-Con type thing. And I think you guys will like this. Uh, I will show you a picture of it as well uh, because you probably won't be able to see it very well on this camera, but I'm going to try to show you anyways. <gasps> Look at that. I did not find very much Star Trek stuff at all. There was a lot of Star Wars. There's a lot of like, of course, Marvel and... Ow. Uh, there's a lot of, of course, Marvel, DC, things like that. But I did not see a lot of Star Trek. But I did find this from a very talented artist. He also had a Next Generation one, but I... I just got this one. Maybe next year I'll go back and I'll get the TNG one from him, but I haven't really seen TNG yet, so um, I just had to get this. Okay, so excuse the glare, but here is the Enterprise, and then of course Spock, and Kirk, and uh, there's Scotty, Uhura. Uh, wrong way. Okay, this is hard. All right. Chekhov and Sulu, the glare. I'll show you guys a picture. And, uh, and there's my boy Bones. Yes. Very cool. All right, anyways. Um, the final episode of this season is called Assignment Earth. It doesn't sound very exciting just based on the title, but that doesn't mean it's not going to be very exciting and awesome. I'm sure it will be. So let's do it. To complete season two, thank you guys for watching this episode with me. Thank you guys for watching this season with me, this series. And uh, see you guys in the comments, of course, and enjoy. We are monitoring Earth communications to find out how our planet survived desperate problems in the year... 1968. 1968, huh? Captain, something is beaming aboard this vessel. I'll be right there. That's strange. Does he have a cat? Oh, oh kitty. Why do you have a cat? Why are you here? Why have you intercepted me? Security. We intercepted him? Was he trying to go somewhere else? From what planet? Earth. It's impossible. In this time period, there weren't... Humans were the Vulcan. You, you're from the future, Captain. And so are you? Beam me down to Earth immediately. Is he also from the future? <coughs> Careful, Isis. My name is Gary Seven. I am a human being from the 20th century. I've been living on another planet far more advanced. You interfere with me, with what I have to do down there, and you'll change history. You'll destroy the Earth, and probably yourselves, too. What if it turns out you're an invading alien from the future? Good point. Can't beam you down without further proof. Security confinement. If they make the wrong decision? Oh, yeah. Ooh. What the heck? Oh, God! <laughs> the cat! On a 
medical analysis fast. Is he or isn't he human? Wrong decision could mean really bad things. I find it difficult to believe the mysterious Mr. Seven can be human. He seems to know a lot. What do you make of the cat, Mr. Spock? So weird. I find myself strangely drawn to it. <laughs> this is what I needed to finish off my day. Spock petting a cat. Engineering. Still unable to analyze it, sir. It could have brought him back through great distances. Could have brought him back through time. There's no way for us to know. Hmm. Historical report. The launching of an orbital nuclear warhead platform by the United States, countering a similar launch by other powers. The slightest mistake could have brought one down by accident, setting off a nuclear holocaust. That is one happy kitty. What's up? What the heck is that? That was so cool. <gasps> Tired, go to sleep. Oh, that's not good. What's your report? Human readings, yes, but not a single physical flaw. Oh, that's suspicious. Security alert. All decks alert. Prisoners escaped. Transporter circuit shows someone preparing to beam down. Everybody's like. They're just, uh, happily dreaming in La La Land. He seems to have some sort of psychic connection with this cat. I think he's saying the cat's name is Isis. Cancel it! Reverse it! Oh. Isis is an Egyptian goddess, I think. Or something like that. Could be wrong. That's a strange effect. And what's this place? You're right, Isis. It is primitive. Uh, you're not from this time. You lied. Incredible that people can exist like this. He is an alien. Computer on. Specify locations of agents 201 and 347. Please confirm identity as supervisor by describing nature of agents and mission here. Agents are male and female, the product of generations of training for this mission. Purpose of mission? To prevent Earth civilization from destroying itself before it can mature into a peaceful society. Oh. Location of agents unreported for three days. Simply begin search immediately. So he is or isn't a human or human descendant from the future. He does need to be there, it sounds like. Have ship stores prepare the proper costumes. Stand by to beam us down. United States today launching suborbital platform with multi-warhead capacity. Progress of mission. Has the rocket been set to malfunction? Negative. No progress. Unless agents are found immediately, I must undertake their mission. Spock always got to wear a hat. <laughs> Wonder if she's one of the agents. Gary Seven. Homicide Squad. National Security Agency, National is Intelligence Agency. So now he has access to wherever he needs to go. Hello? Anybody here? Can't dock you if they don't know you're late. Where have you been for the past three days? Who are you anyway? Where's 347? With 348? 201. Code responses are not necessary. Maybe I just better call the police right now. Oh, huh? Sit down. What? I'm Supervisor 194, codename Gary Seven. I need a complete report. Report. I love her. She's so adorable. Everything I've done? <laughs> Do I have to? It seems like a lot of work. Well, Didn't she just tell him? Not with your fingers. Oh. How do you expect me to type with my nose? Thank you. It's typing everything I'm saying. Stop it. Stop it. That does it. I quit. You can't quit. Not acting, are you? She's the one who's supposed to stop Earth from being destroyed? Tie in the computer. <laughs> She's so adorable. Roberta Lincoln, human profession secretary in... Oh, okay, I'll bite. What is it? What kind of work did your employers say they were doing here? Research for a new encyclopedia? No? All right, you can go. Of course, if you do, you won't be helping your country. Unless you don't care about that. Sure, I care. So she's not the agent? FBI? 
We're some kind of government agents, huh? I guess she's not. CIA. Very groovy. Groovy. Oh, don't let anybody in here. I'll be busy. Okay. <laughs> she's so adorable. Occurrence. Automobile accident. Ten miles north of McKinley Rocket Base. Oh. Agents 347 and 201 were killed instantly. Oh. For them to die in something as useless as a, an automobile accident. Computer off. Where's Mr. Seven? Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, you guys can't Where's come Mr. in here. You can't come in here. Neither one of you can come in here. This is against here, the police through Department 12B. Get your hands off of me, you big jerk. <laughs> you big jerk. Me, I mean it. Oh, he has lost the hat. What are you? This is getting really messy. So he needs to stop that from launching. He needs, he's supposed to cause a malfunction, right? Plans to McKinley rocket base. Open up in there, police. Oh, God. Wide scan, Scotty. We'll be moving. It's Spock in here. Now, Scotty. What's going on here? Oh, wide scan. Yep. Oh, boy. Oh, no. This is not good. Reverse and energize. Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> oh. Well, at least they got him up and down real quick. Speak to your moment. Yeah, sure, sir. Give me security identification check. Uh, security, this is uh, Sergeant Lipton, and we get all straightened out down here. <laughs> Just sit right down right there and have a little nap. It reminds me of Men in Black. Little, you know, wipe the memory. I could get even closer. I could spot them. I could lock on and beam them up. Launch is in 40 minutes. Stand by, the beam is down. Continue visual scan. Repeat, stand by for launch area clearance. Is seven in the back seat or something? Launch director at gantry, beginning final check. D minus 35. In the center. trunk. All round stations confirm go. Oh, this poor guy just waking up and now this. Three. One move and you have both had it. They look like respectable gentlemen to me. Intruder alert. Intruder Are alert. we not going to see that cute girl anymore? <gasps> All right, oh. don't answer. But you can tell him I quit. So... Oh. Oh. I know you guys have probably been waiting for it. But I need her outfit. Especially her little stockings with the pink stripe on the side. 20 minutes. Oh my goodness. Yes, thank you. I know how to open it. <laughs> Cat's like, let me do it. You're not doing it right. <laughs> I want to know how they train a cat to do all that stuff. These are all they were carrying. Identify yourselves and tell us why you're here. D minus 14. You are nervous, aren't you, doll? I wonder why the cat, though. <laughs> it just seems like some kind of quirky thing that... I'm not really sure the purpose of the cat, but I, I do enjoy the inclusion of the cat. And maybe that's all the cat's there for, for people like me to enjoy. Oh, Scotty found him. Stand by, I'm gonna beam him up. Oh... Well, where's the girl going to end up? Oh, where'd he go? I had him and something yanked him away. Yeah, the other tractor got him. They intercepted the Enterprise trying to beam me on board. One minute to launch. One minute. Oh, my gosh. Spark and I in custody. We're powerless to stop Mr. Seven or prevent the launch or even be certain if we should. I have never felt so helpless. So this must be actual footage of some sort of launch that 
happened? Okay, well, it seems to be going all right so far. Uh-oh. Well, yeah, that's not good. Adjustments of the rocket base were not completed. Can I still take over the rocket as planned? Rocket control possible when manually. Wow! Roberta, please don't try to leave. I love her and I love this cat. Are you jealous, Isaac? It's most unbecoming. <laughs> Cat's jealous. <laughs> Third stage igniting. Oh, this is cool. Engine malfunction. Take it off course. Rocket veering from planned course. Is she gonna try to stop him? Arm the warhead. Nuclear warhead now armed. Nine one point two one eight. What is that? What is she gonna do? Get her face she's about to do something mischievous i got to risk calling the captain lieutenant uhura open a channel aye, aye. this is intense transmit destruct signal get back over there oh i do care about my country and you can't be cia oh, oh my gosh Hold it. i'm telling you you threw a monkey around with my country's <laughs> You've got to let me finish what I've started, or in six minutes, World War III begins. The destruct is fouled up somehow. Flight control, she's coming down fully armed. She'll go off on impact. I was beaming up Mr. Seven, and something yanked him away from me. Hello? Who are you, Sergeant? It's operated from this dial here. We're getting no response. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was coming. Auxiliary transmitters check out flight control. Whew, at least they got out of there. Descending and armed. Descending and armed. She'll so go off on impact. Oh, my goodness. Roberta, you've got to believe me. I, I do. I mean, I know this world needs help. That's why some of my generation are kind of crazy and rebels, you know? We wonder if we're going to be alive when we're 30. Aww. Hold it right there, Mr. Seven. Fuck, you're the expert. Can you detonate the warhead from this computer? I can try, Captain. Unless I do it. At least 100 miles above ground. Just barely in time. Frighten them out of this arms race. Ah, OK. If we do it now, it won't be enough to frighten them away from all this. Fuck. I can estimate some of this, Captain. Captain, he can only guess. Will you please let me do my job? I don't know what your job is. Listen, you. Get away from him. Roberta, be careful. <laughs> Servo set to kill. Ooh. There are only seconds. I'll need time to set it. Please, he's telling the truth. If you can't handle it, I'm going to have to trust him. Let him do it. Let him do it. You must rely on your human intuition. He gave you his weapon. The sign that he... Has good intentions. Go. 30 seconds and acting 120. Detonation 104 miles. Perfect. The mission was completed. The Enterprise was simply part of what was supposed to happen on this day in 1968. As our record tapes show. <gasps> oh my god. Well, so everything happened exactly the way it was supposed to. Wibbly wobbly timey wimey. Look at her. Would you mind telling me who that is? That, Miss Lincoln, is simply my cat. <gasps> no, change her back. Captain, we could say that Mr. Seven and Miss Lincoln have some interesting experiences in store for them. Yes, I think we could say that. Live long and prosper, Mr. Seven. The same to you, Miss Lincoln. What, it, what was that? Dang it. I'm missing something. But I got to see lots of cute girls, so it's automatically a win for me. We did it. I did it. Made it to the end of season two with the final episode, Assignment Earth. I'm seeing that this whole Cold War, balance of power, fear of nuclear war is really present in a lot of these episodes because today we had another one and i really enjoyed it i there was a lot for me to really like about this episode the cat was really cool very mysterious uh roberta was just the cutest little thing i've ever seen she's definitely up there with angelique pettyjohn and sherry jackson for me 
I see that her name is Terry Gar. So cute. So cute. And her character was adorable, and her outfit was adorable, and when the cat turned into the woman, she looked very beautiful as well, and I loved her outfit, and she looked like um, Elvira or Vampira. The whole time travel thing, going back to the past and trying not to mess things up always makes me nervous, especially when kind of like in City on the Edge of Forever, where we don't know if something is supposed to happen or not happen or if that's something that we should interfere with or not interfere with. I also really enjoyed the actor who played Gary Seven. He was really great. His character was really great. And it was a big focus on him and his mission. And Kirk and Spock were kind of not really doing much, although they were trying to. It felt like they didn't really have a big role in what was going on, which I thought was really interesting as I was watching it. And I guess at the end, it's revealed kind of like they were supposed to be there and they it was very important that they were there, that everything would go exactly the way that it was meant to go. So that's always really interesting. But the only thing that confused me was at the end where Kirk was like, oh, you two have some excitement ahead of you or something like that. I wasn't really sure what that was about like if I missed something at the beginning where maybe they mentioned something going on with certain people or something I'm not really sure why he said that but aside from that really solid episode I really enjoyed it I think that's one that I would love to just watch over and over again for the cat for just it just felt really kind of unique because of the focus on the other characters those characters were really compelling and really interesting and really fun um and the cat helped too <laughs> so i had a really good time and that is season two of course we're going to be getting into season three very soon i will probably also try to make a top 10 video like i did for season one of my favorite episodes in season two I have kind of a really busy schedule for the next few weeks, so I'm going to try to get all this stuff out as soon as I can, but if I fall a little bit behind or if it takes me a little while to get this uh, out, then please forgive me, um, but I will do my best and eventually we'll all have, you know, all the episodes and the top 10 and start season three and yes. But anyways, that's it for me. Now I pass it on to you guys. What did you guys think about this episode? Any insights you can give me? The footage of the rocket launch. What was that from? I'm sure some of you guys know that. And I think that about wraps it up. So I'll see you guys in the next one for season three. And I thank you guys so much. And take care. Bye bye.